okay so this is our fourth test for acetone and this time we will test it with mercury chloride solution okay be very careful about mercury chloride solution because mercury chloride is highly toxic mercury heavy metal that leads to poisonous action in your body so first what we will do in a clean test tube we will take a very little amount of sodium hydroxide dilute sodium hydroxide about half ml okay and then we will dilute it further with distilled water we will dilute it further with distilled water almost again half ml okay so this is very dilute solution of sodium hydroxide now to this solution we will add only one drop of saturated mercury chloride solution the word saturated is very important if the mercury chloride solution is very dilute then the observation will not be that much distinct so this is my saturated solution of mercury chloride and i am adding only one drop it will give a yellow precipitate bright yellow precipitate let's see see yellow precipitate came you can add one more drop now shake it so this became yellow now the observation is when we add acetone to this this yellow precipitate will disappear so let us see so this is our acetone and let us see whether this yellow color this yellow precipitate disappear or not if you add more mercury chloride suppose you added 4 to 5 drops of saturated mercury chloride right then it will give a huge amount of yellow precipitate in that case you will require a large quantity of acetone to dissolve it completely that's why it is said to perform the test properly with minimum amount of reagent you need to add only one maximum two drop of mercury chloride to the solution so that the amount of precipitate is such that you can dissolve it easily within the volume of this test tube using acetone so let us add acetone and shake it see slowly it is starting dissolving and it is completely now dissolved see a clear solution so the test is dilute naoh half ml 8 to 10 drops and then further half ml of distilled water to dilute it further then one or maximum two drops of saturated mercury chloride to get a yellow precipitate shake it and then slowly add acetone and shake it that yellow precipitate will disappear so these four test two using nitroprusside one in nh medium another nh4h medium haloform test and this mercury chloride test this four test confirm the given compound is acetone